In this video, we will show you how to import a bitmap image and auto digitize. The procedure is simple. First, use the open icon to locate any image you like. Find the bitmap image you want and open it. A dialog appears showing the selected image and the available handling options. Each option is presented into a separate video. Now we will present Auto Digitize, Trace to Outline. You may even click and drag on top of the preview to select just the portion of the image to import. You can move or resize the portion if you are not satisfied by the initial selection or use this circle icon to reset the dialog. On the lower part of the dialog, you can also change the resolution of the imported image by editing the width, the height or the DPI values. If any of the imported image dimensions, width or height is larger than the default backdrop size limit, which is 29.5 cm or 11.6 inches, then the resolution values, width, height and DPI will be automatically adjusted to match this limit. Change the value and then press the Enter button to apply the chains. The image resolution will change proportionally. The Trace dialog appears to assist us in the conversion process. In reality, the Trace dialog tries to create a vector design based on the imported image. If you prefer, you can customize a few options. First of all, you can scale the imported image. For example, if you want the design to fit into a 140 by 140 hoop, you need to scale down. The accuracy option allows you to choose how much detail of the original artwork will be in the final embroidery design. By default, the accuracy value is 5. According to the quality of the image, you may need to increase, 8 is maximum, or decrease. As we mentioned in a previous video, bitmap images are made of dots, so for high quality images you can increase the accuracy. For low quality pictures though, using high accuracy may lead to a bad trace design actually. If you enable show notes and zoom on the artwork, you will see that for this image high accuracy produces too many notes. Instead, if you choose accuracy 5, the artwork is very clean. Now, using the color limit, you can select the number of colors that you want. If the bitmap image has shades of one color and you reduce the number of colors, then these shades are combined to the basic color. Color reduction also leads to having less and cleaner shapes. Using the background option, you can select a color from the image and that color will be removed from the traced ones. Additionally, from the Tools section, you can click and drag to define a view area. Select a view percentage from this drop-down list or use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out at the cursor point. You can enable or disable the view of traced nodes and outlines. You can also enable or disable the view of the original image and adjust the blending with the traced artwork. Finally, using this option, the image will be converted into artwork objects and no embroidery types will be applied. In this way you can create an artwork design, keep the parts you like and then manually decide for the fill and outline types. Press Trace to perform the actual conversion. At any point I can change the view of the backdrop in order to have a better view of the actual design. 
The flower design is ready, so now I can edit it as if I had created it from scratch. I shall combine the pot and the petals. I will also apply piping that looks better on this shape. Set the leaves to be satin and probably adjust the direction of the stitches to make the leaf look even better. That was all about tracing. Take your time and try to make the best of any image you have.